on deck. On deck, we have Monica Emanuel, but coming to the stage right now, we have a rising loading. Y'all pass it up for the host. Mother India, colonized by oppressors, but she still sings. Oh. You see, I come from lands that have been colonized, brutalized, where what was ours was stolen, where land that we grew gardens from, where we grew our babies' fruit and food was taken from us without apology that we never asked for because we have faith that we will continue to march forward, build a beloved community, sadhana is what we call it in Sanskrit. Did you know that Sanskrit is one of the most ancient languages in the world, in fact, often considered the mother tongue for all languages, but yet I walk down the street and people ask me, do you know how to speak? I speak in a million tongues of my ancestors. I feel their rays pouring down like sunlight. Feel it rise inside of my blood, telling me that we can continue to rise even when there's tides, even when tsunamis are pouring down our faces. During COVID-19, we lost more lives precious lives without any kind of access to public health, even though so many of us are doctors. There's a lot here to consider, so let me help us all try to unravel. Let me help us all try to untangle this mess, this mess. This mess we never asked for. And listen, every time I see a window, somebody tries to shut the door. Every time I try to stand up, somebody tells me to sit down. But here's the thing, even when people came into our land, when they stole every crown, they could never, ever steal our spirit. Because you see, spirit runs deep. You see, spirit is something that is so deep inside of us. Spirit is something that is tangled and speaks in sadhana. You see, you may look at me and think, why? Why does she continue to smile despite all of the pouring rain? But my ancestors taught me that even when times are tough, we can find miracles and moments of joy. Joy in miracles, in lentils that we take and wrap into crepes, fresh dosa that fulfills nutrients, that fill our babies, that give back to a planet that so lovingly gives to us. You see, Mother India still speaks, teaches all of us so many lessons and even though for so long she has been squashed, told to be silent, told to silent her voice, even questioned whether she can sing or write poetry, the reality is that over 7,000 years ago, so many Indian saints, Indian human beings, Indians who were connected with earth would stand around fires. They would share words words that were woven together like quilts and tapestries, embroidered with every bit of love. And you know what? We were speaking rhymes way back in the time. Spoken word before it was called spoken word. In fact, you can look at Vedas and see how Sanskrit mantras are actually spit out, spit out with such grace, spit out despite people telling us that we are an inferior race. No, no. You see, my amma, my mom, she raised me telling me stories, stories that we all belong. Namaste.